we're at the right height. I don't think I've ever actually shown what I use for my camera setup. Let's let's explore this for a second. Professionalism. So today it is a beautiful sunny day and I have decided to do another brush out video. Now the first one of these I ever did was the first roller brush out set that I ever did in my life. And since then I pretty much do roller sets a couple times a week and that's how I wear my hair like most of the time. So I thought I would share an updated brush out with some of my tips that I've learned, um, like ways to help the set and everything and I'll talk you through the set I have on my head right now. So um, I hope that you will enjoy that. Also you may have noticed that I have rebranded my channel. I always like cringe a little bit inside when I say that, I don't know why, but um, yeah, I've rebranded, I have a new banner, I've changed the names on my social media, I just really, I was feeling kind of uninspired by my virtual image branding, there's no way I can say that, that doesn't make me want to die, um, but you know what I mean and I really wanted to change it and I really loved the little tagline I came up with for some of my lookbooks which was A Very Vintage Holiday and I thought of the name A Very Vintage Darling and it just seemed to fit my channel really well so that is why that has changed. Um, so yes, I have a new Twitter name which is The Vintage Darling because I didn't check the character count before <laughs> I changed the name. Oh, my, one of those hangy things was hanging out of my dress um, and my Instagram name is also a very vintage darling with dots in between each word so that you can read what it says because when I first changed it my boyfriend thought it was Avery vintage darling which made no sense so yeah but enough blabbering let's get into the set okay so I have a full head of rollers right now I'm really desperately hoping they've dried I put them in at nine o'clock last night and it is now 11.48 in the morning. So we should be good, we really should be dry, I really hope so. I do my sets on dry hair and then I spray them with this, which is not actually a VO5 spray, it's a mixture of water and a lot of body setting lotion, which is amazing, that I spray into the hair section to get it damp or wet. Um, damp works better than wet. My hair does not dry quickly. Um, I spray the section and then I roll it up. For today's set, I have rolled the hair all over the roller, so it's rolled under. And I've done quite a few rollers. I'll turn around so you can see the back. There's four, a row of four back here, and then two on the side. Um, the rollers are different colours because I didn't have enough, when I first started I didn't have enough rollers to fill my entire head so I had to get another set. So this set is from Boots and this set is from Amazon. Um, yeah. The only thing I would say when buying rollers on Amazon is, for the love of God, check where it comes from. Because I ordered another set of these pink rollers in March and they still haven't arrived. It's May, for reference, it's May. <laughs> oh my God. Um, but yeah, so these are really pretty and I'm going to start taking them out now. So I start at the back. You dry, you dry, you dry, yes. And I unwind them like that. I might have to wash these. I wash my rollers every few sets to get them back into shape. Literally when I'm taking them out, my main concern is just, did you dry properly? Which is so many times I went to take out a roller set and it's not been dry. Okay, so I'm just going to fast forward through taking out all of these rollers. Oh my god, the roller I just took out is solid as a rock. Well, that's going to take some brushing out. See the motion of how I take that out. Okay. 
go. Look at that perfect mole curl. Also, ignore my roots, because they are awful. Um, but there's really nothing that I can do about that because I will only trust the hairdressers that I go to at home and when I went home this weekend I couldn't get an appointment because I left it way too late to try and make one. So, my hair is just going to have to be rooty until July when I have an appointment booked. Okay, so now we remember the sausage stage, which I've learned to deal with a hell of a lot more since my last set. So, what I'm gonna do is run my fingers through these a bit because they are so crispy, oh my goodness. And this will make it a bit easier to brush out in a second. So, I'm not actually taking my fingers and combing through, I'm just like gently pulling at the curls. Like so. To help diffuse some of that product. And then <laughs> Wow. Let's have that as part of the thumbnail, please. <laughs> okay. So now we can go in with my first brush. I tend to use um, two brushes when I'm brushing out. I use my Tangle Teaser to get the initial product and floof out, and then I use this bristly brush. I got this from Asda, um, and sometimes I use a comb. Where's my comb? Comb. And I also have pomade, which I'll be adding later, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna brush each curl individually and see how that goes first. <laughs> oh that's done. Okay so now I'm just gonna do a final brush through to see if there's any areas of product I haven't quite gotten out because the tangle teaser really is the best for getting those out, getting out that Stiff and crispy product. I will also say that it's taken me a hell of a lot less time to roll it up. Like, the more you do it, the better it is. Okay, so you could technically even just leave it like this, but I'm not going to. Um, what I'm going to do is take now a bristly brush and I'm going to brush it. Under. I hope with like the vintage. I find that with vintage hair, it always just looks to me really soft. So this brush gives you that soft, smooth look. And then I'm going with a comb. And discover knots I didn't know I had. <laughs> Something that I've learned throughout the vintage kind of vintage hairstyle process is that you need to not be afraid of brushing it. I used to be terrified of overbrushing, but overbrushing it is actually surprisingly hard to do. So, oh gosh, unless you manage to screw up your parting like I just did. Okay, now that we have the same, I'm going to take our Layrite Super Shine Cream. I take about two finger dabs worth. I'm going to run that through the hair using this kind of pulling 
technique. And then one finger dab's worth for the other side. So again, go in, rub that through. Scrunch, scrunch the bottom. Notice that you have this weird piece of hair that you're going to have to pin up later. And continue. This is one of those instances where I'm filming and I only just notice like how long this process takes me. I'm gonna spray the crap out of this bit. Did you see that? And then take clips. wait for that to dry and while I wait for that to dry I'm gonna spray the loving crap out of the rest of my hair. If you pat it and your fingers don't come away sticky you haven't added enough that's great. Rule for life. Ugh. And then my oh, oh gosh I have really bad hiccups now why now why now when I'm film filming? And then while you wait for the hairspray to dry you can pull the gross hair out of your brush and put it in the bin. That feels pretty solid. So now when you take the clips out, what you want to do is you want to take your fingers and put them either side of where the clip is and then gently slide the clip out. So you keep that shape. I'm gonna do the same thing. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. There you go. And you see how that was super poofy before? That's just calmed that right down. And to keep that wave shape that I want, I'm gonna take a bobby pin and I put it right about here and push that in. So we have that nice wave shape. And then on this side, I'm just gonna do the same thing. It's so much harder trying to do stuff for the purpose of showing it rather than just doing it. There you go. Okay, so I think I'm happy pretty much with how this has come out. I might add just one more hairpin. There. That is how my hair came out. I will give you all angles. And by the way, this dress, which if you haven't been following me on Instagram and Twitter and seen my Facebook, no, not, not my Facebook, seen my new banner, you might not have noticed I've been wearing. Basically, I just got some pretty pictures, but my boyfriend just took some really nice pictures and I wanted to share them with everyone. So here you go. This is the Vivian of Holloway dress that I got on sale. It's beautiful and wait for it. <gasps> Has a very princessy swell. <laughs> so I hope you really liked this brush out. I am not by any means a like master at doing vintage hairstyles. I'm gonna add another pin, don't mind me. Just let me get these hairs out of the way. 
am by no means a master of vintage hair and I actually feel like once my hair gets a bit longer it's going to be much 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 easier to um, stop style and to do sets on. I feel like it's still just tiniest, tiniest bit too short um, but it still looks really pretty and this set God willing, should last me um, three or four days, depending on how it turns out. So I think it's really, really pretty. I hope I helped out and I gave you guys some good tips and tricks and, I don't know, ideas for <laughs> vintage sets. And I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Au revoir.